everybody how's it going tonight we are here again working on the ocean monument i hope you all are doing fantastic i just got done with work made myself a pot of coffee and now i'm just chilling hope you guys are all relaxed and ready for some minecraft i know i am um, i hope my audio is good i it was it was uh, good on the last stream. I checked and sounded pretty good on my end. I hope it was for you guys too. So, we had a pretty slow morning for work. It was kind of not a whole lot. We had some people sitting at the bar, but a little bit later, probably around, oh, I'd say four or five, we got a little push. And. Yeah, it was a pretty good night, so I hope you guys are all doing well. We are just clearing out the water here. It's a big project. We're probably going to be working on this for a while. I do have other plans, as I've expressed in the other vi um, streams, but yeah, this is something I want to get done. So it's kind of on the main agenda, on the, on the front burner, I would say. Do, 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 do. I should really have some music. I was thinking about that earlier today, and it'd be nice to just have some instrumentals or something. Maybe just elevator music in the background. I suppose I could turn up the sound on my TV or my screen I use my TV for my computer screen just because it's bigger and I didn't want to pay extra for a monitor when I can just hook it up to my TV screen it's a lot a lot easier that way I am saving up for a second screen though just so I can not have to use it as a TV and a computer screen <laughs> so that's a thing and that way I can also use it for streaming too I could right now I'm using my iPad as my stream manager to see my chat and stuff so I mean that works just fine as well but it would just be nice to have a second monitor just to be able to and I could also use um, do a camera account thing where you could just see me working and but that's mainly for the YouTube videos not for streaming but yeah that's something on my agenda I want to get some new headphones just because I don't I don't have well I do have some but it's got a microphone attached and I don't want to use that microphone because it's it's crap it's not good So we got 45 sponges. Hopefully that'll last this. It should last this whole row at least. I would think. That would be my guess. I should get on top of this to make it easier so I'm not constantly bouncing around. Let's see. We'll do that. There we go. Ooh, and I even picked that block back up. We'll do this as fast as possible. We got one, two, three, four, five tanks left to do. Hello, Devin Hall just joined the stream. Devin Hall, my profile picture. He says, I followed. Can you subscribe to my YouTube channel? It's Devin Hall. My profile is me in the middle doing a backflip. I will check that out after this after the stream Devin thank you very much for following me I will definitely look you up we are just chilling um, clearing out ocean the ocean monument for um, th this is gonna be my main base 
I have started off in a mushroom island, if you can vaguely see over there. There's my tree farm, my smelter, my kelp smelter, my mob farm in the sky. Um, yeah, we're just chilling and clearing out the ocean monument. I was uh, going to make, um, just clear it out with flying machines, but I did, oops, I did some testing in my test world, my creative test world, and I, yeah, the launch pads you need to build for flying machines, I would have to build for each block level, and then I'd have to build them on both sides, and it just, it seemed to be more work than what this would be and I I got to I didn't think about doing it like this at first I was mainly just thinking about how I would do it with the flying machines but then when I found out it was so much work to do it with flying machines that I started thinking of other ways to do it and I was like oh well we could if we're gonna just fill this with water and make big tanks anyway where the guardians can spawn then why clear it out anyway and then I got to thinking well if we just section it off we will be able to just clear out these areas and then the guardians will only be able to spawn in the spawning spots in the tank and I thought that'd be a lot less work than clearing the entire monument out and so on and so forth so that explains that and yeah I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible because it it is tedious and and kinda grindy but as you can see we're almost to the bottom I got that side on um, way on the other side of the monument cleared out already and I got a little section over there cleared out I don't think I got that section cleared out right there I was saving that for when it like the I'm saving that one and this one and the one on that side behind this tank for very last because they're easy to do and I literally just have to like place the sponge on the wall and then it clears everything out so I'm saving those because they're super easy so I'm saving them for oh invisibility invisibility thank you refill our water bottle and yeah, so I can just easily clear out those three smaller tanks on the other side. So I'm saving those for last and I'm trying to do the bigger tanks first. Just because one, once you get the harder parts of the project done and you start to do easier parts of the project, it just seems easier and it goes faster and yada yada. Look at that, we're almost done with this row. Anyway, if we just place maybe five, six more sponges here. Will this suck it up? Yep, okay. I was unsure there for a second. As long as it's touching, probably. Oh, well, I could have done a sponge there. I was looking at my chat. There we go. We should probably do that. Perfect. That was perfect. We'll just take that out with a block. And now we can start heading back and taking these out and doing our lat. I think it should only take one more row. Oh, maybe two. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. Yeah, it might be two, two more rows. Maybe. And yeah, flipping back and forth is like this. I wish we could just use the hoe and the, I tried this last stream and it didn't quite work. It didn't work at all. Where I could just have spoon in my secondary hand and my hoe in my right or vice versa like so. Uh, but it doesn't work. I can't do it. Oops. I need that. Thank you. All right, I gotta do this quick too because I don't want, oh and I forgot that sponge over there. We'll come back and get it, don't worry guys. 
All right. Do 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 do. Yeah, I don't want those sponges to despawn at all because very important to me. Even though I could probably just go find another ocean monument and get more sponges, but it's okay. It's all right. And I don't have my baby tonight. She's with her mama. So we don't have any interruptions. We can just stream as long as we want to. I'll probably stream a couple hours just because I have to work in the morning again. But, yeah. Hopefully we can get a good amount of this water drained. Let's check our invisibility. We got four and a half minutes. And yeah, just so... Just so we don't have to keep doing this on a stream, I would like to do something else and, and start working on the actual farm. Because, yeah, it's... It's been on my mind for a long time, and, and the design I want to do has been on my mind for a long time. So I'm really excited to do it. And yeah, it's but it, it takes a lot of preparation to get there. We'll go straight to... The, oh, we got some up here. We got some floating. Pick up all these. I can't wait until we don't have to deal with these guardians as much was that a block or was that a bubble that was a bubble but yeah I can't wait until we don't have to deal with these guardians as much and not have to make as much potions so that's exciting too. not have to deal with these guys all the time shooting me Oh, we only got 16 left. I should probably go smelt these quick. Put my wings on and we'll fly out of here. I probably need to go get some fuel for my smelter. Uh, we'll take that coal just in case. I know it's only four, but... I don't really need anything else other than that. Do I? I don't really have anything in here I need. Okay. Uh, I was fighting some slimes over in the swamp before the stream. That's that. Alright. Let's go smelt up these sponges quick. I could just go to the nether actually and just set them down on the ground and remind. Actually, that might be faster and less fuel efficient. Or less fuel. I need. What's up, Gollum? We should find a name for him. I got one name tag. We could do it. I used up all my other name tags on these guys and, and the guys up in the iron farm. What did I come here for? Oh, sponges. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to do it in the nether because I have... What am I lo I'm looking for? Gold armor. I have... Um, A big mining area down in the nether at the bottom of the nether and I didn't need a chest plate why did I grab a chest plate I got boots and pants that's good enough we don't need any more armor actually there are those pig guys maybe the invisibility will do us good we're gonna go set these down in the nether and and then pick them back up with our diamond hoe I think that'll be a lot faster and a lot more efficient than having to wait for our fuel and stuff like that. I need to expand the kelp farm because it's just not producing enough fuel. I think I built my smelter too or my smoker too big for for said kelp farm. But yeah. This is my little mining area. It looks like the invisibility is working, so... Or not. Come on, guy. Go away. 
What if I took my armor off? He still sees me. They drop leather now? When did they drop leather? Oh, have they always dropped leather? Uh, I should have brought my diamond or my yeah my diamond armor. I don't know if these guys can see me or not. We don't need the dirt on us right now, so we can put that in our inventory. Oh, these guys are taking care of them for me. Finally, I was wondering why you weren't attacking them. Uh, let's go. We should just do it right here. Let's just do it right here. Okay, those are dry. Or wet. Oh, yeah. Why did I not think of this before? Look at that. All dried out. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. This is so much quicker. And less fuel. I don't have to worry about kelp or coal or nothing. This is so much easier. And I like the sound. Boom. 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 It's very satisfying. A lot of the sounds in Minecraft are satisfying, I feel. Oh, no, 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 no. Go away. Run to our staircase. We're safe here. We are safe here. It's a good thing I brought Boss Caliber, at least. How did he even see me? Probably because of the sponges. We'll just put those on for protection. I almost died there. I should have brought some. I should have brought armor, health, potions, all that. Should have, but I didn't. Look at all these pigs spawning in now. Yep, next time we're bringing armor and stuff. I gotta watch it. Make sure these guys aren't gonna come. Holy cow, look at all these pigs. Oh my goodness. Maybe we, let's just go get our stuff. We're not dealing with them, guys. We need health potions. We should probably bring strength. We should probably bring, do I have my wings on? Okay. Just fly up to the, we'll just fly up here into the portal quick. Oh, go away. Okay, we're safe. Oh, the leg. All right. That is so much easier, though, than smelting it up. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Probably because it was just added into the game recently, so I didn't... It wasn't on the top of my mind. Uh, armor. I'm wearing my gold armor. Take that off for now. Do that. Bring the shield and the bow. We'll rearrange here quick. We gotta put some stuff away. Our inventory is getting full. Um, we don't need the dirt right now. We'll take the arrows. I don't need those two. Uh, I only need... I'll take the legging. Uh, I'll take the boots. We'll put our other boots there. So I got fire protection four there, so that's good. Protection four. And then we got our shield. Oh, strength potions. We got a few in here. Where are my health? Do I even have health potions? Oh, I got two left. I need to make some. And I think we're good. I'll bring my chest plate too. Okay, we got a fly bag over there, so. Put that on, put that on, put those on, put that there, and we're good. We are good.
Whoa. Did I hear a phantom? Or is that my rocket? Thought I heard a phantom. We boom. Well, we got eat. Okay. Let's switch our wings off. Put our chest plate on. And we're going in. We're going back in. Boom. Oh, jeez. Run. Run. We ain't fighting all them guys. Heck no. There's probably a bunch down here too, so we're probably going to have to get some health. Oh yeah. Strength right away. We'll just shoot them. We'll just shoot them all. Look at them all. I could make this into a farm, totally. I swear they spawn in like groups of eight. Along with the babies. Those babies are a nuisance. It's not like they hurt you too much, but... Oh, jeez. Oh, these guys can get up here, too. I forgot. I mean, they run away right away, but still, they're, they're just a nuisance. Go away. You too. Why does it seem to take more hits for the babies than adult adults? It's very curious. Very curious. See, that was two. Oops, I missed. And three. It takes two for the adults, doesn't it? Or it did? I thought it did. Okay. We should be good to clear these out now. Oh, yeah. That's a satisfying noise, too. Yeah. Yeah. That was so much quicker and easier. And they're all dried. Every last one of them. Let's head back up. Oh, I'm not wearing my wings. Good thing I didn't waste a rocket there. I should really put... I should really make another hub. So it's a lot safer. Oh yeah, and we gotta deal with these pigs that are up here again. Oh no. Hopefully they ran away. Or despawned. One of the two. Looks like they're gone. Oh geez. Stay away. Thank you. Oh. I f thought for sure we were gonna die. I seem to have a problem with dying. Alrighty. I don't like the rain. Do we have... Oh, we need to grab our dirt back. And put our uh, armor back. We can put the leather in there. And we can put, uh, put my chest plate back in here. Take off these. We actually got room in my backpack. Look at that. Refill his water bottle so I don't have to do it later. Um, we gotta put away the boots. We'll put that away. We don't need it. Uh, we'll put our bow away in there. Alright. We'll keep the potions on us. Not really need the strength, but that's okay. And yeah, we'll take these off. Put this away. Okay, I think we're ready. Oh no, dirt. Dirt. Where's my dirt? Okay. We'll rearrange this a little bit so it's easier to work with in my brain. 
Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think. Oh, I picked up the torch in the nether. I forgot to pay, put it back. We'll put it there. Alright, we're good. Let's get this last tank cleared out. I wonder if I set a wet sponge on here. I wonder if that dried up. Probably not. It should, though. It makes sense. Ugh. I was going to say it makes sense in real life, but this ain't real life, is it? It's Minecraft. So, can't really count on that, can we? Oh. Oh, I didn't even do invisibility. What am I doing? Oh, I'm going to die. Or not. Okay. Ooh, that was close. That was close. I can always make more health potions, so I'm not worried about that. We got melons. We can do it. Alright, there's the ladder. Let's just do it down to the end, just so I don't have to worry. Go to this end. Get my sponges. And voila. Make a platform so we can get up here. <coughs> Excuse me. I had a cough. I came down with a little bit of a cold. I don't think it's nothing serious, but... Yeah, my tonsils are a little bit swollen and... Kind of had a cough the past couple of days, but it seems to be fine. I, I don't think that'll suck up right there. We'll have to do two. Yeah. Yeah, but I've been... I mean, I can feel it in my tonsils, but it's not... Seri like, it's not getting worse, so I think I'm good. Take that out. Need a dirt. I think we'll need a dirt there. We're almost there. Oh, I wish it'd just clear it out. It's all good though. We're just gonna be safe and do that. Boom. Boom. Oh, need more dirt. I need more dirt. Boom. Come on. Thank you. Boom. Oh. Boom. All right. Halfway. try to do this faster here it's not I just need to find my rhythm oh and then we get this part it's about finding a rhythm but then you run into spots like this I drop down a level oh I should have put a sponge there boom um Let's just, I don't know if that'll suck it up. We'll just play it safe. That's one block. Okay. Boom. One block. Almost there. Let's do, yeah. And then, boom. Perfecto. I'm just going to run on the bottom. Boom. Excuse me, sir. You were supposed to go away. Uh, there's one up there. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Boom. Boom. Did that? Okay. That did go away. Boom. Oh. 
too far. That's okay. We're good. We're good. Oh. Let's just get that with that. Okay. Hop on here. Boom. We're good. Boom. Oh yeah, that is so much nicer. Last one, and there we go. That is the entire side cleared out. And we can just reach these. Boom, 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 oh, boom. Boom, 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 boom. That is such a satisfying noise too. It makes boom. I mean, do we even need music? Like we can just hear that and set satisfying. I don't know what it is about that noise, but or any noise in Minecraft really. They're all well, most of them are satisfying to me. That's my opinion anyway. It's like crunch, crunch. It's like you're stepping on uh, one of them chip bags. Boom, boom. Yeah, I do. I do think I need music though. I was just playing before. I, I think I need some background music. I'm so glad they made it the whole so much more useful than just doing crops. It makes sense to do it with how it is now. I don't know why I'm building. Well, I suppose I st still need the ladder for when I am doing the water because it's. Ah, uh, shoot. It's easier that way with the water. Okay. Now let's not take the block out from underneath me. Oh, gosh. I need to slow down. I'm doing this way to... Let's just fly up there and go down. Uh, forward. Thank you. Come on. Oh, I don't have my wings on. <laughs> Silly me. There we go. Boom. All right. Can I reach that block down there? No, I can't. I cannot. No, I can. There we go. All right, slow down. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, yep, that's, that's today. That's how it's going. Yep. Flying up here again. Ouch. All right. Let's not do this again. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that like three times in a row. <laughs> oh my goodness that was funny at least I can laugh at myself right boom it's the two block. it's cause I'm trying to do two blocks at one time I bet there we go now we're at the top perfecto oh no no oh Yep. Mm hmm. Oh, I bet you guys are going to kick out of that. Oh, my goodness. How am I going to have to use my other wings? I'm going to have to use my other wings to fly down there. Otherwise, I'm not going to do it very well.
I don't have any rockets made, do I? Nope, that's empty. We're gonna have to swim over there. Ay ay ay. <laughs> yep. See, I have I have issues with dying. It just finds me. It's not like I want to find it. It just finds me. Three times in a row, and then I and then I just walk off the edge. At least I tried to activate my wings before I hit the bottom. I think I did activate the wings. It's just I didn't have enough time to catch my fall. There we go. We're good now. And I only got two rockets. Let's go get some rockets made up. Oh my gosh. That was great. That was just a great one. Alright. We will... I didn't have any armor on me, did I? I did not. I didn't miss anything. At least I don't think so. We'll head over to the sugar... Actually, I probably got paper over there, but it's all good. We'll just take down all this sugar cane quick and then make some paper. More paper. I really need to automate this. Probably build a flying machine farm like in this area just so it's next to the mob farm. Maybe I'll even have it directed into our main storage office area. I'll just punch these out. Whoop. Give me that back. So I get roughly about, I think, five and a half stacks from this little area. Oh, that's so satisfying. Listen to it. I don't know. I guess I'm just a person that gets satisfied over sounds like that. I don't know. I'm weird. I'm a weird person. What's even normal anymore, though, these days, you know? But yeah, I, li I like that sound. I wonder how many Minecraft days I'm at. I could probably look. Where's my... Statistics. Mine... Uh, days, days. Uh, distance walked. Where's my death, too? I was gonna look at that last stream, but I, I didn't get a chance to. Uh, I've flown a lot of... A lot of... Let's see... Um, do, 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 do. Where are the death? Oh, number of deaths. I've died 40 times. Holy cow. Holy smokes. I won one raid. That was at the, um, that was at the Mushroom Island because I had killed a pillager party. What was I looking for? How many deaths? And then there was one other one I was looking for. I don't know. It was the deaths, right? Deaths and something else, I thought. I can't remember. I can't remember what I was looking. Grindstone, smoker, items dropped. I jump a lot. <laughs> 64,000 jumps. Number of deaths, 40. What was I looking for before? Do, 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 do. Ugh, I can't remember. I cannot remember. Anyway. Oh, how many days... That's right, okay. How many days I've been on? 
I don't see it anywhere. Time played. So 10.14 days. That's quite a bit of time. But it, is that... That's got to be Minecraft. Or no, that's real time, I would think. Or is that real... I'm looking for Minecraft days. Does it even tell you how many days of Minecraft you've... Like, how many... Uh, I don't see it. Is it it? Holy cow. Collected a lot of iron. Oh, times crafted. How come it doesn't have any... I've mined tons of... Iron. How many diamonds? Let's look at how many diamonds. Where's diamonds? Now I'm getting distracted with all my statistics. I don't see diamond. I see diamond armor. There's gold. It doesn't have gold either. I've mined tons of gold. What is this? I only have one blue shark shulker box. Oh, well, yeah, that's how many times I mined that one shulker box. Okay. Do, do, do. I don't see any diamond. It's got to be here. Don't see it. Well, there's a diamond block. I'm technically 42, so what is that? 42 times 9 is... Uh, 8 times 2 is... Or 9 times 2 is 18. 9 times 4 is 36. 360... What did I say? 368 diamonds. Let's find the diamonds to see if that's right. There's emeralds. It's probably not going to tell me though because iron, gold, and emeralds weren't shown. There's diamond. Yeah, it's not even, oh well, 324. I suppose I found a bunch of diamonds in the end. So that would explain the number difference. 4,090 prismarine I've mined. That was from the Ocean Monument. A lot of dark oak. I like dark oak, so that, that doesn't surprise me at all. All right, we're done with that. How, well, mobs. How many mobs? I've killed four bats. 137 blaze. <laughs> That's from my my little starter blaze farm. I probably killed a heck of a lot more f chickens than that because I have a chicken farm. But yeah, it doesn't count that because I didn't actually kill them myself. I killed 21 cows, 74 creepers, a lot of drowns. Three elder dra elder dragon. That's from the guardian. Or the ocean monument, I should say. I've beaten the Ender Dragon once. I've killed four Endermen. That's not very many. Um, I've killed four Evokers, and I've never been killed by one. That's good. Never been killed by a Ghast. Uh, I killed 19 Guardians, and I've been killed six times by a Guardian. Hoglins are not... Eh, that's still a good ratio. All right, we're done with this. We got, oh, these could have despawned too. What am I doing? I could have just lost all that sugar cane. Or does it, it probably pauses when I pause the game. I would think, <coughs> excuse me, tickle in my throat. There's some more here. Oh, more here. Yeah, I think it paused. Because I had been sitting there for more than five minutes. And these would have been all gone. I would think it was more than five minutes. So, it must stop time in the game when I pause. Let's get up here so it's faster.
There we go. I think we got all got it all. Doesn't look like I missed any. I think we're good. All right. One, two, oh, four and a half stacks. I was wrong. I was wrong. Let's rearrange my inventory. What am I doing with my life here? What is this mess? What is this mess? Look at this mess. Get this all situated. Oh, can't do that. <laughs> doing this little circle thing here. All right, good enough. Uh, let's put our totem on the hot bar. Run or sprint. Add into my 64,000 jumps. Oh, we can craft right here. Crafting table, paper, more paper. Okay. I think I got like three double chests of gunpowder from my mob farm. It's absolutely ridiculous. There's a double chest. I got a double chest sitting over there. That double chest right there is full of gunpowder. So two and a half chests. Almost two and a half chests. Full. And then I got tons of bones. Tons of bones. Tons of rotten flesh. I've been trading all the rotten flesh for emeralds. And I've been using my emeralds to buy mending books because I keep dying. I really should get a farmer up in here so I can trade this weed away, but I'm too lazy to. These are empty right now. Except for chicken um, poppies and... Yeah. Oh, gunpowder. We gotta make tons of rockets. One, two, three, four... We don't have room. We'll put this guy away. Five. Dude. Oh, yeah, it won't just go. That's right. Oh, we can't do that yet. We don't have inventory space. Ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish they'd make the inventory bigger. Put these away in here for now. And then bring out this guy so we can fill him right away. Rocket box. And then we'll just do it here so we can shift click. Shift click. And again. And voila, we are all set on rockets. I gotta say, that mob farm I built is literally the most mo or productive mob farm I've ever built it's crazy uh, we'll keep a stack in the 47 out so we have a good amount I'll have to punch this because I don't have my pickaxe we'll put that back we'll take all these potions back alright I think we're good to start working on the monument again Right? I suppose we could. Well, we got whole stack right there. Rearrange this a little bit so it's good. We don't need strength, actually. Because we'll be invisible. Alrighty. So, now that we got both sides cleared out on the east and west side. I think we should start the middle. And I know, I know, I know. It's a big project. And I still haven't figured out if I want to divide it up this way or divide it up this way. Maybe if we just put. What am I. Okay. Stop sanding there. If I just put two lines of sand right down the middle on that side and on this side of the tube would that be easier than doing all kinds of I wonder I wonder because we would have to so if we did it this way east to west we would have to make a lot more 
Oh my goodness, I'm getting shot at. We would have to make a lot more container or sections. But we wouldn't have to I mean we probably would still have to use the dirt, maybe. But then if we made the I don't know yeah, if we made it small enough, if we cut it right here and then do four blocks in between each section, we could actually I think it would do five. So we could come to this block, cut it off, and then go five more blocks. I think that's five maybe this one and cut it off again and then we could just do smaller yeah I think that's what we'll do instead of doing long ones it'll be easier to do short I should have done that over there why didn't I think of that before maybe because I'm just getting yeah I was thinking just get it done in one like this but this is so much wider so it I don't know, it makes sense to do it this way, east to west instead of north to south. I don't know, that's what I'm thinking in my head. It sounds good. So we'll get, we need sand is what we need. Tons of it. And luckily, luckily I don't have to go get it, I got it right here. Not really luckily because I've been using so much sand. It's not even funny. Like every, every, I don't know how to describe it. Every hour or whatever I've been having to go get sand because I need glass for all this and all the stained glass, all the glass around the outside and I plan to put glass on the outer, the very outer edge of the platform on that edge so I need to go get more sand for that actually I probably, once I take all these walls down I probably could use the sand I have but okay this right here, oop that's okay Yeah, I think this will work a lot better than doing the long way. A lot quicker. A lot easier. At least that's how I'm thinking in my head. If it starts to not be as easy, we'll switch it up. Okay. Do I need to... I'm just going to do it just to be safe. Get rid of all the seagrass. Just because, <clears throat> just because I don't know if the sand will break when I lay it. Let's just test it out, actually. There's a grass block down there. Oh, it breaks the grass. All right, we're good. We are good. There's all that sand down there I need to clear out underneath the ocean monument as well, so... I could just do that instead of going to my mining desert, which I don't think I've shown that yet, but maybe we'll go there if we run out of sand. Whoa! I've never done that before. Whoa! Typical boss Drew Crew here. Hello! <laughs> Always derping. Oh, need more sand. Need more sand. We got to make sure. There we go. Six and a half minutes. I just rounded to the nearest half because, yeah. Just so I don't have to, you know, say the exact number. And just say and a half or just six or whatever so oh so if we do five spaces one two three four five let's just see how many we have to do right that's five one two three four five okay 
One, two, three, four, five. Put a block there. One, two, three, four, five. Put a block there. Did I do that one right? One, two, three. Okay, yeah, I did. I didn't think I did that one right at first. One, two, three, four, five. Put a block there. One, two, three, four, five. Put a block there. One, two, three, four, five. Block three, five, three, oops, three, five. So we'll end up right here with a four on the end, which is fine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine total cham chambers we'll have here. And we actually cut the tube in half. That'll be fine. Should be fine. Boom, 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 boom. So once we get this all done, we can start working on the farm. That is another big project. I mean, there's many, or this is all one big project, but there's many parts to this project. But that's what Minecraft is about. It's all about the grind. <laughs> it's a, it's that type of game. You got it. You got to love it in order to be interested, I guess. Oh, we picked up two ink sacks on somewhere. That's another thing. I won't have to... I think squid will spawn in the tanks as well. So we will have an ink farm as well. That would be nice. You don't have to worry about black dye ever. We'll probably leave the bottom half of this wall just because I'm not going to drain that part right away. I want to get, I basically want to save that for last because, I mean, not very last. Like, we're not going to make the farm before we have the killing chamber. We're going to have the killing chamber before the farm. But I mean, last as in what we have to drain last. Did I use all? I did use all the sand. I didn't bring very much sand on me. Avoid the magma. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get rid of some of these. We don't need all these potions on us right now. Just get rid of some of them. All right. That looks good. We'll take all of it. We'll just take it all. We got a lot to do, so. Whoa. I'm thinking about just taking those magma blocks out. It's annoying to walk on them. They look good in the build, but... I don't know. I, maybe I won't walk them on them as much when I have it all done, but... Yeah. They're just annoying to walk on. All right, next one. It'll get quicker too once once we don't have to deal with the bottom down there being so low. Oh, we don't need to go that high. We don't need to go that high. It's gonna look funny though with all the stripes on it down the middle. I should probably sleep soon too because I think I've gone a few nights without sleeping and it's nighttime. I'm surprised there's no phantoms yet. I am invisible though. Oh, I got my wings on. They could probably see me. Oh! 
Speaking of invisibility, okay, we got a minute left. We got a minute. I gotta take a drink here quick. <clears throat> Ooh, coffee. I love coffee. And yeah, I'm weird for drinking it it's so late at night. It's late at night where I am. So, it's actually 11 p.m. where I am. But yeah, I, I drink coffee right until I go to sleep. I'm just not affected by... Well, I am affected by caffeine, but it's not as effective as it was when I was younger. I've been drinking coffee since I was, oh gosh, probably 12, 13 years old when I started drinking. Well, I started drinking cappuccinos way back then. I saw my thing blinking, so I, I caught it that time. Good job. But I, I started drinking cappuccinos when I was at like well, maybe even 10 or 11 or 12, because I remember me and my mom and my brother would drive down to our families for the holidays, and we'd stop at a way station and pick up cappuccinos and, you know, use the bathroom and whatnot. So I start, and my mom was the one who introduced me to cappuccinos. She got one at the way station one time, and I asked her, I was like, what? what is that you know can I try it and I tried it and it was I think it was French vanilla cappuccino which I mean that's just the basic cappuccino everybody know you know but I was very young and I didn't I never heard of a cappuccino and I was like what what even is that and she explained it to me and I was like oh well, it's pretty good so then, from then on, I just started drinking cappuccinos, and then after a while, I was like, well, Ma, let me try your coffee. And that's another thing. She drinks coffee black, so when I tried her coffee, I was like, what What the heck? Why, why is cappuccino so good, and then you got black coffee, and it's so bitter, and blah, blah, blah. Well, then she's like, oh, well, they put cream and sugar and all that good stuff in the cappuccino and flavoring and stuff like that so oh excuse me so that's why it tastes better and obviously so then I was like oh okay I get it so then I was like all right well you know we'll put sugar and milk and cream in the coffee make it a cappuccino well like a cappuccino and then it wasn't until probably I was probably 25 or 24 or 25 when I found I don't know if you guys have heard it or not heard of it or not Inter international delight creamer and literally you just got to pour the creamer a little bit in the bottom of the cup and then pour the coffee in there and yeah, you don't need sugar, you don't need milk, nothing. It just flavors the water for you. Er, tch, water. I'm looking at water, that's why I said water. But uh, it flavors the coffee for you. <clears throat> so you don't have to sit there and count out, you know, spoonfuls of sugar or whatever. Yeah, it does it for you. And then it tastes good. So ever since then, and that was like right after culinary school, I went to culinary school, uh, maybe a couple years after culinary school. But, uh, yeah, so I, ever since then, I've just been drinking coffee, and I literally drank it right up until bed. And I don't have a problem going to sleep most of the time. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Well, most of the time I don't. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> That cold, I swear, it's just annoying. And it makes my voice all scratchy, kind of. Do, 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 do. 
I'm not a big fan of lattes though. Just because. <clears throat> well, I, mean, I shouldn't say that either. I like them, but I don't know. There's just something about a cappuccino or, or the International Delight creamer that, or, f I could really use a frappe though. Frappes are good for McDonald's. Those are, or iced coffee, like a slushy iced coffee. Those are good. Those are good. I don't know if you guys have Big B Coffee by you or not, but we do here, and I like Big B Coffee. I don't like Starbucks. I feel Starbucks is way too bitter, too strong. I like a strong coffee or a cappuccino or a latte or whatever, but I don't like it too strong. And I feel Starbucks is way too strong most of the time. There are, I think I've had their white chocolate cappuccino or latte or whatever it is. And those aren't too bad. Those aren't really as strong. And I'm sure they got more that's not as strong, but yeah, I'm just, I'm not a, too big of a fan. But yeah, I like Big B. Big B is pretty good. Big B coffee. It's a little coffee shop. I don't know if it's global or not. It's a big big company though. I know that. And then you got companies like Car Car uh what is it? Cal Calib or Caruba or whatever. I forget how to say it. And then you got what are some of it? I mean, you got your typical coffees like Folgers and stuff like that. <clears throat> oh, this tickle, it won't go away. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry, guys. Alright. How much time on... Oh, we're getting close. One, two, three. Oh, gosh. Oh, and then I probably shouldn't have taken that out. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we got it. We got it. But yeah, as I was saying, coffee is my main choice of drink. And then, I don't drink a whole lot of soda. Sometimes I do. Like if I want to have a drink after work, I'll, I'll mix a kettle one and Dr. Pepper. I know, I know it's weird. Like, but it's good. I don't know, try it sometime. Kettle One and Dr. Pepper. I mean, there's 23 flavors in Dr. Pepper already. And Kettle One, I do Peach Kettle One. So, a little bit of ice, a little bit of Kettle One, a little bit of Dr. Pepper, and I'm good to go. But I only do that on occasions. I don't, I'm not a big drinker or partier, really. As you guys could probably tell, I play Minecraft <laughs> all the time. Just because I want to stay out of trouble, you know, in in high school and in junior high, I I was a naughty kid, naughty naughty kid. I mean, we all go through our times, but I got expelled from a couple schools. I ended up in a detention home a couple times. I was naughty, naughty child. But yeah, after high school, and I gradu I actually graduated somehow. I don't know how I did, but I did. Graduated high school, and then I uh, kind of just took a year off. And then I really got into some trouble, which was, I shouldn't have taken a year off. I should have just found something I wanted to do right away. At first I was like, you know what, I'm just going to take a year and think about it, think what I want to do. But I didn't do any thinking. <laughs> I literally did not do any thinking. I just hung out with friends, did some party. Did I use all the sand? Oh my gosh, I did. We're going to have to go collect some sand. I don't have any more, I don't think. There might be some in the storage, but I doubt it. But yeah, I was a naughty kid when I was younger. 
and then I smartened up. I mean, I was smart back then, but I just didn't utilize my smartness. As all teenagers do. We'll put all these potions back. We don't need them right now. Oh, we ain't got room. We'll put them in here. Put the dirt away. Sponge away. Sponge. Actually, we could have been not carrying those before. And I got both my elytra. Yeah, both my elytras. Let's go put that other one back. I need my tools and stuff. Do, 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 do. Oh, I had some rockets in here. Oops. <laughs> All right. I don't, where are my boots? Did I? Oh, I left them in here. I think we're good. Boom, boom, boom. Let's rearrange this stuff. Oh, where's my bow? I need my bow. That's my wings. Where's my bow? Oh, yeah, I put it in here. There we go. Alright, I think we're ready to go get some sand. Shouldn't take too long to fill up a shulker box. I don't know if that's exact amount what we'll need, but we'll take this with us. And we can show you our mining desert. Well, one of them. We got plenty of deserts around here that I haven't... I just want to take a look at this. Yeah, it's looking nice. Alright. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, deserts around here. But, uh... This is the main one I've been going to. I was starting on the other side of my mushroom island, but then I thought... Uh, well, if we're going to have a village right next to our mushroom island, I probably shouldn't be digging out there. Yeah, I was mining out sand here, and I found this this dungeon. I believe it's a skelly dungeon. Yeah, a skeleton d dungeon. And it was completely submerged in sand, and as you can tell, there's no caves leading to it, so it was completely submerged and buried. And there was no way to get to it. So I was literally digging. And I took out this block right here. And I saw the cobblestone. And I'm like what? No way. And I dug it out. Sure enough. Sure enough. Sometimes that happens in Minecraft. You just stumble onto things. And that's what I love about the game. Is that there's just so much to do. So much. So much stuff to find. We'll take out sand and sand and sand. And just fill this puppy up. Oh, so much satisfying noises in Minecraft. I know I said that before about the sponges, but... Yeah, I just like to listen. I'm going to turn it up a little bit here. Hopefully it doesn't hurt you guys' ears. All right. Yeah, I've pl pretty much cleared this. Out. I need to get over here. Boom. I like watching the sand fall, too. I always sit here and wonder, like, do the blocks disappear in here? And then I see them pop up, and I'm like, oh. No, oh, it's just how my brain <laughs> works. See, it, it looks like they just disappear, but then they pop up above the block. You, yeah. Sounds good. I wish I had efficiency 5. I only got efficiency 4. And then it'd be really instant mine. If I had a beacon, actually, it'd really be instant. I'd be going through this like butter. Better than butter, actually. But yeah, I've just... Like I said in the last stream, it's... It's laziness. <laughs> it's complete laziness. And I'll be the first to admit it. But that's okay. That's Minecraft. You have no goals. You can do what you want. 
I mean, you do have goals, but you set your own goals. You set your own pace, and that's what's good about it. It's very therapeutic. That's why I love it. People give me a lot of a lot of crap about it, but it's very relaxing. You can do what you want. You can make anything you want. And red I'm really really interested in redstone just because all the things you can do with it and it, it's just a cool aspect of the game it's like electricity obviously but yeah it's it's cool how you can make like piston doors seamless piston doors and you can make automatic farms stuff like that and iron farms all and yeah you can just do what you want it's it's pretty uh pretty therapeutic after a long day you know a hard day at work or whatever you're doing with your life or or just nothing to do you know you can just come and do whatever or you could just go into creative mode and just play and build and test things out I'm a big survival fanatic though I it, if you're not doing survival in my opinion you're not getting the full ex extent to the game yeah there's creative mode and you can you know get all the blocks and and all the items and you can do everything but you're not getting the experience of the survival aspect of the game and you don't get the you know dying aspect of the game and yeah it sucks to die but you know it's also part of the game where did I put my shulker oh over here but yeah like you don't get and having to lose all your stuff and then gain it all back Obviously, we just saw in my statistics, I have a really hard time saying that word, but um, in my stats, I gotta remember to say stats, <laughs> but uh, I've died 40 times, so obviously multiple times I've had to remake stuff, had to, you know get diamond picks back diamond armor back wings back which by the way I only have two left and I need to go end busting maybe we'll do that in the next stream go end busting and go raid some end cities get some wings get some more diamond armor I have plenty of diamond well not plenty but I have some good diamond armor from the end raiding I did do when I first started this series but yeah we it doesn't hurt to always get more armor more diamonds more shulker boxes stuff like that oh I thought that was gunpowder sitting over here I'm like what the heck who how did a creeper die I didn't kill no creeper anyway it's just a squid I'm surprised I haven't been attacked by a mob yet. It's been dark for a minute. Or a good minute. Not an actual minute, but you know what I mean. Boom. Whoa. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Looks like we got some sandstone to put away. Boom, boom. I cannot wait to start building the villages, by the way. I was thinking of the sandstone and all the villages. Because a lot of the villages are desert villages. But some of them I'm going to... I might even have to tear down like all the houses and redo them. Just to fit my block pallets I want. Because I want the villages to look like the empires we have. 
so the nether empire the land empire ocean empire and sky empire and I want them each to look and have that block palette at the ocean monument so or something close to it but so I might just like the savannah village we can make into fire villages Actually, I think I have like three or four savannah villages, so we'll make those fire villages because, or nether villages because, um, yeah, they're ma mainly orange, like the acacia is orange, the acacia roofs, stuff like that, so we can easily transform those into, into, uh, fire looking, you know, fire houses <laughs> fire empire houses nether houses that's the word I was looking for I think we might have close to our full shulker box here it's okay if we have a little extra we always need the sand always especially when you're working with a lot of glass like we do hey guys now we're gonna have a problem if you want to be preventing me from picking up these blocks a big problem you don't know who you're messing with I shouldn't say that cuz then I'll die right away <laughs> it's good to stay humble yep we got a full invo, invo. whoa you see that arrow Uh, which one do I take care of first? Oh! 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 Alright, we're, uh, we're getting out of here. We're just going to sleep at the base. There were way too many mobs over there. Not happening. Not a happening. You can see our base over there. It's looking really nice. We got that ravine down at the bottom. And I don't know what to do with it. I'm thinking maybe like a underwater bunker or something. Or, or maybe an underwater laboratory. I don't know. We'll think of something. I totally left my shulker box at the desert, didn't I? I did. And I still got my other wings on me. Where's my armor box? Uh-oh. I lost my armor box. Did I, uh, where did I even... I can't see over there. Did I take it out? Oh, no, I took it out at the little outpost by the Ocean Monument. I remember. I remember now. We gotta get our... Whoa! We gotta get our... We'll go put our wings back first. Our backup wings back. <laughs> backup wings back. Back. <laughs> we'll go put our backup wings back. And then we'll get our shulker from the desert. It's a good thing these things aren't too far away from each other. There it is. Put that away. Actually, we could put our hole back in our backpack. We'll do that quick, too. Don't. Alright. I'm put this back. We'll leave that there. Boom. Go get our sandbox. Sandbox. <laughs> Play on words. <laughs> I love flying in this game. I don't know what we'd do without wings. And it's so much easier to travel to. 
I put it over here, didn't I? Alrighty. That is a full shulker box. So that'll last us for a little bit here. Hopefully it'll be all we need. We won't have to come back here for a little bit. Obviously we'll have to come back here in the future because we have lots more plans. Especially with glass. I don't want to use a whole lot of glass in the base, but... I mean, we already have, but... Oh, I thought I was going to land there. Thank you. But... Oh, once we have this all cleared out, they'll only be able to spawn in there. Whoa, leg. Alright. And it'll be nice to uh, not have to deal with them as much. As much as we have been. Alrighty. Full shulker box of sand. Put our shield away. We don't need that. We don't need that anymore. We don't need that. That. We don't need the flint. Actually, I don't even know why I have that on me. Let's just throw it away. And the gravel. Well, we'll keep the gravel just in case we need to make concrete sometime. It's always good to, you know, not throw things away that you might need. But then again, it's not good to uh, keep things you don't need either. Alright. I probably left a whole bunch of sand over at the desert, but oh well. It's just a game anyway. Alright. Boom. Well, oh, don't get stuck. Okay. Now, <laughs> not like I'd be too mad anyway, but guardians just want to kill you anyway. You're not friendly. So who's the predator here? Me or you? <laughs> Probably the Guardian, because I don't just go hunting the Guardian. Well, I I guess you could consider me the hunter, but... Oh, he was going to go under. Nope. He got smart. He got smart. Well, that's almost halfway again. Or, er, no. This should be easy. be a lot quicker too because it doesn't have to go all the way down to the ocean floor do 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 this is only a three space here so that's good let's be quick I hope this farm produces so much guardians for us. This is kind of my own design too. I haven't really seen a whole lot of people. I mean, it's based off of other people's farms, but um, I've kind of... Whoa, we're not invisible. Oh, I don't have any invisible potions on me. I didn't grab them. But yeah, this farm is kind of my own design, but it's based off of, just saw one spawn in there, but it's based off of other people's, um, mainly Cub fans, Guardian design he came out with in, um, Hermitcraft season, I think it was five, or maybe it was six, maybe it was Hermitcraft six, season six, yeah, it was six. Because it's the same same series as the when he did the kelp farm and kelp smelter tutorial. And then the same season, Iskull85 of the Hermitcraft server built something similar to this, but the tanks were a lot smaller. And, um, and they were square. I think they were square. And 
actually, now that I think about it, I think there were four tanks like this, one on each side, but they were square, and they all brought them up to the top and then dropped them into the center. I think that's how his went. But yeah, so it's kind of based off of Isco and Cub fans Guardian Farms, which are big YouTubers. Excuse me. Big YouTubers and um, play on Hermitcraft. And this is what this series is ba kind of based on Hermitcraft. Kind of. It's inspired by Hermitcraft, I should say. Not based. Because mine's a little different. I got a storyline and it's a Let's Play. I mean, there are a Let's Play too, but... Yeah, it's fun something to do it's a nice hobby you know I being a chef and working in the food industry well right now it's not not as many hours but because of the pandemic and stuff going on but yeah I'm still getting 30 hours a week so it's I'm able to pay my bills and still have money left over but it's it's not like I can just, you know, go out and, you know, I'm not rich <laughs> by any means. But I, I do live a good, comfortable life as a chef. My main profession and do this as a hobby. And then be a single parent. Which isn't easy, but it's very fulfilling especially having a daughter and you know being protective of her and making sure she grows good and all the good morals that people need and stuff like that that's what oh we're not invisible I didn't even take my potion leave me alone guy I'm just trying to make a nice comfy home for you guys Actually, it won't be very comfy at all. You'll end up going through lava and all kinds of stuff, but we won't let you know that. We'll keep that to ourselves. Did I finish that one? I don't think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. We're good. Get on this guy. Oh, I started on this one. That's the one I didn't finish. I was thinking about my daughter. Her name is Andre Ella. She's named after her daddy. And a flower. There's a flower in. Uh, it's called Aud Audrey Ella. Or. I think it's Audrey Ella. Or something like. Something close to that. But. Me and her mom mixed my name with the flower name and made it Andre Ella. And it's very, I've never heard that name before. And, well, I mean, I guess Andrea is close to that, but Andre Ella is very, it rings a bell in my ear. <laughs> I love it. And then her middle name is Leia, like Princess Leia, because her mom is a, Star Wars fanatic but uh so she got the middle name I got the first name just because Andriella is my f my first child I don't know she was nice like that so it's Andriella Leia she's very beautiful she's got I just got a message. Oh, we're good. All right. She's very beautiful. She got um, blue eyes, blue hair. Er, tch, blue hair. Blonde hair. Blue eyes and blonde hair. Just like her dad. She looks almost identical to her dad. That's me. <laughs> Proud daddy. But yeah, she's at her mom's tonight. And I, Dad gets the night off. 
We're just chilling. We usually just chill. I just, I was talking to one of my buddies at work, and he's got two daughters, and he he suggested a game for us, for her, I should say, that I could play with her, which is Roblox. I'm sure maybe some of you have heard of it, but, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. There's a lot of different things you can do on Roblox, and I never really got interested in it because I'm satisfied enough with Minecraft that I don't really need any other game. But yeah, there's a lot of cool different like there's a treasure hunter, there's um, Pirate Island, there's a butterfly catching one so she can just run around and catch butterflies the whole time and uh my buddy he's playing um playing uh bah, 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 a roller coaster so you can like design your own roller coaster and uh stuff like that and make it your own Oh, we ran out of sand already. Got to eat some food quick. But yeah, he's doing uh, the roller coaster part of the Roblox, where you can build your own roller coaster and stuff, or er, theme park. What was that noise? Oh, me walking on here. I forgot that that made that noise. I like that noise. But, um, yeah, he was oh, so excited about it today at work. Talking about how you can make your own roller coaster and make it look all pretty and stuff like that. I haven't checked that one out myself, but I plan to eventually when Ella is here and we're playing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I haven't really... I mean, she watches Hermitcraft with me and stuff like that, and but I haven't really introduced her to Minecraft just because, for one, I don't want it. Or I have it on my tablet, so she could play it on her on my tablet, but um, I don't know. I just feel like she's too young right now, and. I feel like she's either going to break my tablet or she's going to, you know, spill something on it, like her juice, even though her juice has a cap on it. But, yeah, I'm just, I feel she's too young right now for Minecraft. She's only a year and a half, so. She does pretty good playing Roblox, though, and I give her the Xbox controller because I, I download it on Xbox One. And she does pretty good. I mean, there's she can't fully do everything, but she runs around and like the pirate one, she'll jump off the ship and and go swimming. And I mean, she doesn't know she's got a base and whatnot. <laughs> We're at a little island in a ship, but she, you know, likes to run around. And I can always get a different you know buy a controller if she breaks it or whatever that I'm not too worried about if she breaks it or if she gets her snacks or something on them I'm not too worried about the Xbox controller <coughs> tickle again oh excuse me it's silly t uh, tickle can't wait until it's gone but yeah, there's there's so many things on Roblox that you can do with kids and it's just it's a good game. And I don't know why I didn't check it out before, probably because I'm just so interested in Minecraft. I never get bored with Minecraft. And I've literally been pretty much playing it since it came out. Pretty much. There was a time when I went to culinary school for 2 years that I didn't play it at all in 2011 and 12 and 13 so I left right at the end of 2011 to go to culinary school 
and um, graduated in the or the beginning of 2013. So just two years, almost exactly two years. It's just not exactly when the year is turned, you know, type thing. Oh, we're not invisible. And um, I didn't play it while I was in culinary school just because I was in college and I had a lot of papers to do and a lot of things to cook and learn about and stuff like that. So I didn't really have time to play Minecraft and I worked two jobs. So I went to school full time and worked two jobs and I didn't have a vehicle and I lived in Minneapolis, St. Paul. So the transit bus, no matter where you went, if you were just going five blocks down and you had to take the bus, because the blocks are big in big cities like that. So, <clears throat> oh, that tickle won't go away. But, uh, it literally took like two hours if you just want to go five blocks. So it's like quicker walking instead of taking the bus because the bus has to go a certain route and you have to, you know, sit on the bus and wait to go to a certain place. And sometimes you went totally out of your way just to get to one spot, you know, and it was, it was absolutely ridiculous. But I literally didn't sleep, like, the entire two years. I did, but <laughs> most of the time I slept on the bus. A lot of times I missed my stops, so I'd have to get off and then call a cab and get to my spot on time. And let's just say I didn't have a very good attendant, or on-time attendance, I should say. I, I was always there for everything I needed to be there for like school and work and the other job and you know and I had a girlfriend at the time and not the mother of my child but a different one and um so I barely saw her I was working all the time and yeah but you know that's what you got to do when you got to make a living you know I'm sure there's a <laughs> people out there who have had a lot worse situation. I mean, I went to culinary school, so I had a good shot, you know. Well, not good, but I had a good opportunity, I should say. Not everybody gets an opportunity to go to college or culinary school or or whatever have you. They don't have, you know, I didn't even have the money to do so. I got grants and loans, and uh, as a matter of fact, I'm still paying them off. But that's the price, you know, you got to pay. This is our last one. Look at that. It didn't seem so long when I was talking. But yeah, after culinary school, I came back home to be w with my family and, and friends and stuff, and... Got a job in my hometown again. Right before I left to go to culinary, that was one of the main issues I was having, was not finding a job because right out of high, I didn't have a whole, whole lot of jobs in high school. I had a job working for my mother, which I didn't really consider a job. I did consider it a job because she paid me and it was like I was actually on payroll and stuff like that because she owned a daycare center at the time. And so I'd clean all the bathrooms and clean up the kitchen and vacuum out the rooms for the teachers if they needed it and they were too busy, you know, stuff like that. Took out the garbage. I was basically a janitor for a daycare center that my mom owned. And then... I worked at Pick and Save for a little while. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I had to get that cough out. 
Now I gotta take a drink. Alright. I think I'm good now. But yeah, so I worked at Pick and Save for a little while, and then I worked at a call center, like a tax collector call center place for high school jobs. And yeah, I just, I was not enthused about any of them. And I didn't want to do them. <laughs> I was a teenager, you know. <clears throat> There's that tickle. <clears throat> yeah, I got a cold. It's not, <clears throat> it's not good. But, uh, yeah, I was a teenager. I didn't want to work. I didn't want to, <laughs> I just wanted the money and not to work. <laughs> but as I got older, I got more mature and started to realize, yeah, it's not ever going to happen for you, bud. You're just like everybody else. You need to knock it off. I'm sure we all have our times like that, where we just don't want to work, but yeah, we still want the money. <clears throat> I need to take a break here for a second. My throat's all <clears throat> chopped up. We'll do this quick, just uh, just to do it quick. Boom. Alrighty. So, hey fish. Look at all them. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Hopefully, there'll be a lot more once we get everything drained. Excuse me. Now I got burps, I got coughs, I got scratchiness. It's probably sounding like just horrible for you guys. Oh, I need my sponges now. We can start clearing. We can start clearing the ocean from the monument. We'll put all of our sand back. We don't need that as of right now. Put my sponges in here. We need all these back. All the invisibility potions. Well, we don't need the water bottles. Grab a few more those we need the dirt grab that put those there put that there actually let's do this just so the blocks are together and then we'll put our potions over here and then we don't need those we need to grab our hole Yeah, we'll do that. We only need one potion in our hot bar at a time. Right? Right. I cannot wait to just be able to walk around the monument and not have to worry about guardians attacking us. So if we just place one right in the middle, yep, it's doing exactly what I thought. This should be so easy, or make it a, a lot easier. <clears throat> We're gonna have to do long stretches of sponge and dirt. We can just do short little ones. We could actually do, what did that do? One, two, three, four sponges that took out. So we could do this very easily. I gotta, crouch boom so then we'll drop down to this layer oh this is going to be so much easier I'm glad I thought about that before I did it because then we can just do this and then take out the one above us while we're going forward it'll be so much easier look at that that is so much easier 
We're doing two things at once here. Too bad I couldn't. I suppose I could have done it on the long ones, but I gotta find a rhythm here. I guess there's not really a good rhythm. Because you need to go all the way to this side, go all the way to this side, and you gotta switch up blocks and then switch up tools. So there's not really a good. See, now I'm using the hole for the dirt. Gets tough, tricky. But it is a lot quicker than what I was doing. And a lot easier, too. A lot easier. This will be so quick. If I don't miss. If I do not miss it. <laughs> Don't miss. Okay, we didn't. Dirt. Take out this one. Sponge. Take out the sponge. Dirt. Boom. We'll have this probably done in like... I would think five minutes. That's just a guess, though. Oop, dirt. Come on. Okay. Okay. Hoe. Shovel. Hoe. Shovel. No shovel. Oh, too low. It's all right. Boom, boom. One more. Okay. Take out these guys up here. Oh, I needed that one. Do this guy. Oh, snap. We'll just we'll just do dirt. That's all right. Just do dirt. That's fine. Whoa. Didn't want to do that though. All right, take out this guy over here, and these guys, we don't need it anymore. We don't need that guy either. Place a sponge. Uh, oh, I can reach it. Okay. Dirt. Sponge. Dirt. Sponge. My throat seems to be a little better now that I've been taking short breaks in between. So that's good. I'm getting mixed up here. That's the only trouble to this to this method. So I'm getting mixed up with the the different tools I need and the different blocks I need here, but that's okay. Boom, boom. We'll pick these up just because I don't want them to go away. I think I dropped a sponge on this. Yep, there it is. Okay. Yeah, we're already halfway. It's a lot quicker. Boom. Take out these guys. So they're not in my way. Boom. Oh, I missed it. How did I miss that? I didn't run enough. There. We'll play it safe. Boom. Boom. Okay, boom. We'll just do that right away. That is but that's a little better. It's always nice to find easy, quick ways to do things. That was one thing that culinary school taught me is that 
trying to find certain ways to do things easier was always a priority in the kitchen. <clears throat> Just working in a kitchen mainly. It's always... You always got to try and think of good, easy ways to do things because you got so little time when you're so busy. You got to cook so many f orders of food and got so many things to watch over. And and being, you know, one of the top dudes, you got a, you, you got a lot of responsibility on your shoulders. Obviously, I don't have any, as much responsibility as the chef does, but... Um, yeah, being the sous chef, I definitely have a lot of responsibilities. A lot of people constantly asking me questions, which I don't mind. I like being the guy, you know, people come to, can come to. But, uh, yeah, chef, chef work is a busy, stressful fast-paced job but that's what I love about it I like the rush I mean not not the actual rush but you know the rush of the adrenaline rush you get you know and when you cook for so many people and they love it and they like it and you know it gives you a good satisfied feeling that you know, hey, you're doing something good for some. It's almost like <clears throat> giving love to people, giving life, because we all need food to survive. You know, it's kind of our chef's way of giving love <laughs> is to cook for people. I guess that's just how I look at it. Boom. But it's also a very fulfilling job. Yes, it's stressful and long hours and, you know, not the greatest pay. Especially if um, you're not at the top of the food chain. If you're just one of the low guys, it's not a, it's not, it sucks. And I've been there, I started at the bottom. Start as a dishwasher. I've done actually pretty much every job in the restaurant. Period. I just haven't haven't worked it as long as I have cooking. So I did in high school. I worked at a hotel. Actually, it was junior high. Junior high into high school. I worked at a hotel called the Plaza Hotel, and I worked there for about three, three or three and a half years, I can't remember exactly, and I started off as a dishwasher, started off doing banquet serving, and setting up banquet tables and stuff like that, and then they moved me to serving in the restaurant in the hotel and busing in the restaurant in the hotel. Then they moved me on to the banquet line. So I was cooking banquet food. Or helping cook banquet food. And that's where I fell in love with cooking. I mean, I cooked all the time at home. But I'm talking about, like, I always loved cooking. Ever since I was a young kid and my mom taught me how to cook. I, I like being creative, you know, and I like doing, making my own concoctions and stuff like that. But, uh, <clears throat> I fell in love with the, with the banquet cooking aspect of cooking, of professional cooking, I should say. And cooking large amounts of food in one batch and in very very little amount of time and then plating it all up or or doing like family style where you do it on platters and uh, I just fell in love with it I couldn't 
I couldn't get enough of it. And then, like I said, after high school, once I graduated, I, st I didn't know if I wanted to do it for the rest of my life. And to be honest, I have now, after being in the industry for going on probably, see, I started when I was 15, well, almost 15 years now because I'm almost 30, or 14 years because I'm going to be 29 this year. But, um, so yeah, 14 years I've been in the industry, and yeah, I definitely don't want to do it for the rest of my life, just because of how much stress, what happened there? How did that happen? I must have missed it. But, just because it's a stressful, very high stress job, it's not something I want to do for the rest of my life. But I, I want to continue cooking for the rest of my life. But, um, I mean, obviously nobody wants to cook or work, I should say, for the rest of their lives. But we should get some visibility. I have it, silly Drew. All right. I don't know why I even went up there. I must have just been talking. And, oh, yeah, the water came down. Duh. Duh. <laughs> but, yeah, it's... <clears throat> restaurant industry is not... And plus, it, for the pay... And, I mean, if you go to, like, a big city and find a place that has, a, you know, benefits, health... I mean, most places have health now, but stuff like that, you know, dental insurance, stuff like that, it's, uh, it's worth it. Actually, I shouldn't say that. Our, the place I work at right now just got a 401k, so I have a 401k for Andriella, and, um, oh, not that block. Not that one either. Okay, we're good. So I have a 401k started. And it's not my first 401. I had one when I was in culinary school when I worked for the St. Paul Hotel. And, yeah, that was a nice job. I was sad to have to leave that place because... The St. Paul Hotel was like literally the type of hotel where you had big tall dudes with top black top hats and trench coats standing at the door waiting to open the door for you. They had valet parking um, and the valets had like the black vests and they look all fancy and stuff like it was a legit straight up like Michelin star, I don't know if they have Michelin stars at the St. Paul Hotel, but I personally would consider it a Michelin star. I can't remember if they did or not. I think they at least have three actual Michelin stars. At least, I would think. I mean, they had gold handles for their doors on the front doors of the hotel. Like, gold-plated handles. And, like, you walk inside in the lobby, is just crystal chandeliers, mirrors, pictures everywhere. Like, it's just a really fancy hotel. And, uh, I remember doing my in interview there. The chef came out in his apron, full chef uniform, everything, chef hat. And, uh... But he smelled of just raw fish. Just stunk. Just completely reeked of raw fish. And the first thing I thought, he's handing me um, paperwork to do a background check. And the first thing I thought was, oh my gosh, do I even want to work in this kitchen if he smells like that? Obviously, I understood he was, you know, working with fish, but, or raw fish, but it just had that weird smell, like it wasn't 
good fish smell. I don't know how to describe it. But I was a little nervous about it. And I'm like thinking to myself when he's handing me this paper. Thinking to myself, well wait, this is supposed to be a fancy hotel. Why why do you smell like that? You know, and then a week goes by and my background check clears and I'm able to get the job and they hire me. And uh I actually beat out a couple of guys in the application process. But anyway, that's that's off off subject a little bit. But um I get into the kitchen and the kitchen is like literally underneath in the basement and uh it's just a fabulous kitchen. Like I couldn't I couldn't even believe it. And the way down to get to the kitchen was like through a back like cement brick wall and it like it just didn't look like it would be you know such a fabulous nice stainless steel kitchen but it was it was it was one of the nicest kitchens I've ever seen and then I was like oh man did I thought wrong it must have just been a fish that I didn't ever smell before there I did it again how do I keep doing that but yeah then I thought to myself well yeah it must just be a fish I wasn't used to smelling that smells like that or but yeah it was just one of the nicest kitchens and it had some of the most knowledgeable chefs I've ever met in my life obviously uh Oh, I must be doing that when I take out these. On accident. I gotta be watchful of that. But yeah, there's some of the most knowledgeable chefs I've ever met. Obviously, there, there were crazy knowledgeable chefs in the culinary school. I remember the... Um... Found, uh, they called it the class Foundations 3 and Culinary Foundations 3 so basically you're like learning the basics but not basics anymore it's like on the verge of basics and not being basics so you're learning like how to dismember a cow or take down a cow how to take down a pig how to take down a fish you know you're learning stuff like that but the teacher I had for that, his name was Chef Danielle, and you had to say his name like a French person would say it. Otherwise, he'd get very upset with you. He would say, you say it, Chef Daniel, not Chef Daniel. You say, Chef Daniel, that is my name. And I don't know if that's the French accent he would use, but that was pretty close to it. But he was... He owned like three or four restaurant Michelin star restaurants in Minneapolis. And this guy, he was one of the coolest chefs too I've ever had the opportunity to work under. But this guy was so rich that, oh, I did it there too. Every weekend when he had off from the school, he would go down to Arizona, Scottsdale, Arizona, mind you. And Scottsdale is like one of the nicest towns you'll ever... I've never been there myself, but I've heard so many stories about, like, um, how people just drive nice Porsches and Lamborghinis and everybody's rich. and It's just a really rich community, Scottsdale. But he flies down from Minneapolis in his own personal jet. He is that rich. And he flies down every weekend that he doesn't have to teach at the culinary school. Obviously, the not obviously, but the culinary school isn't allowed in the United States anymore because of uh, Obama's administration. So... This is off topic. I'll come back to Chef Daniel in a minute. But when Obama was president of the United States, he made, 
so what was going on with these culinary schools, and it wasn't only culinary schools, it was, um, so there's a law school called Brown, Co or Brown Law or something like that, and they were actually like a block away from my culinary school, but anyway, um, the people who were going to the culinary schools and not just the culinary school I went to, like multiple different culinary schools, people were taking loans and grants out and to go to these schools. And what was happening is obviously these people who were taking out the loans and grants Actually, we should stop here because I'm getting into underneath the monument, so we're good here. But people were taking loans out to go to these culinary schools, to go to go to um, these law schools, and there were, there were other type of school. Like I'm sure there were all types of industries that I you know I didn't even recognize or whatever I didn't know about or whatever not just law or culinary but those are the two main ones I remember so people were taking loans and grants out for these schools from the federal government and so the schools were getting their money from the federal government right oh we need to get this sponge but the people who took the loans out, the grants are obviously free money to go to school, but you don't have to pay them back. But these people could not pay the federal government back for giving them the loan because they don't have, you know, high paying jobs, high enough paying jobs, I should say. I was going to take out this while I was going up totally got distracted let's not fall either oh but as I was saying the people could not pay well it's not that they couldn't pay a lot of people would be late a lot of people would miss payments on their loans and some people just couldn't pay their loans back just because they didn't have, they couldn't find a job or, or they had, you know, not enough pay. Because a lot of times you start off in the bottom, even though you went to culinary school, you start off in the bottom of the kitchen. And, um, yeah, you don't, you just don't get paid, you know, starting out a whole lot. So I'm sure that's mainly probably the reason why people and I'm sure there are people out there that just thought they could not pay back their loans but so the schools and by the way all these schools I'm talking about were from not not from the United States they're literally foreign schools from Europe and I don't know any other country but so these schools were not from America, but yet, so our federal government would pay these schools for the people to go to the school, and the people couldn't pay the federal government back, so all of our money was literally leaving the country and not coming back. Like, it'd be one thing if, if and this is like one of the main things I agree with Obama, I mean, we won't get into politics right now, but um, when when the money leaves, like, we should always have a means to bring it back. If we have to go buy something or, you know, buy milk or whatever, like, we should be able to replace that money as it goes. You know what I'm saying? So... Like, our money shouldn't just leave our country and then never come back. And so I, I fully agree with 
not allowing foreign schools in our country, for-profit foreign schools in our country, mainly because there are so many people out in the world that just expect to be given things and not have to pay it back. And it's pretty sad. It's pretty sad that we have to, you know, live in such a community where, or such a environment, where, you know, where we have to set rules like, like such because people are, you know, like that. It's human. It's human behavior. Typical human behavior. But some people would say, oh, that's a millennial for you. Yeah, that's not a millennial, dude. That's just human behavior. Like, I kind of take it f offense to, you know, because I'm a millennial myself, and I, I was raised on, like, hard work. You got to earn a dollar, you know. My dad would, like, make us carry firewood, and we'd get, I mean, and I'm taught, that sounds small, but I'm talking like big, large amounts. Of, we had to cut the firewood. We had to, you know, stack it. And so, and my mom was the same way too. Like, she was always, she always had to budget her money, you know, being a, my parents are divorced, but, um, they both were, you know, baby boomers. They all, or they both were raised on the good old day morals, you know. So then they raised me and my brother and my three sisters like that. So I kind of take offense. And I feel like other millennials that are like me do the same. Take offense when people say, Oh yeah, that's a millennial thing because it's not, it's not, it's not even close to, I mean, yeah, millennials set a bad name for that, but it's not a millennial thing. It is, but it's not, you know, it, it kind of, I kind of take offense to when people say that because it's so closed minded of a statement because it's just human behavior to be like that, you know, and it's not okay, that doesn't make it okay, but, yeah, all right, we got this whole side cleared, I just want to take a walk around here, just because I've been itching to do this, it's so cool just to walk through here like this, and the trees, I was thinking of using, like, brown stained glass for the stump, for the stems, or the uh, logs or whatever, but then I was like, yeah, that's just too tedious, yeah, that's so cool, once we have the farm all done and stuff, and then the aquariums on the side, oh, it's gonna look so nice, obviously, we're gonna put lights in here, so you can see better, the fire one, the fire aquarium on this side will probably be really bright because I'm thinking of using magma blocks, the uh, shroom lights, I had to think of the name of those, these guys right here, and we'll make it kind of like a fire aquarium. It'll be very, very different and unique. It'll look like hell is in water. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, I can't wait until this is all done. Let's fly up. Oh, I don't have my wings on. Okay. Wasted a few rockets there. Nice. That didn't take too long. Took a little bit just because I was talking and chit-chatting. But yeah, that's looking pretty snazzy. If I do say so myself. Now we have this guy, and then, oh, we have one, two, how many does this go, three, three more 
tanks left that go all the way down to the bottom. But we're not going down to the bottom. All the way. Oh, we only got 16 sponge. Dry sponge. Let's go dry. Let's go dry them out. Let's see. Put this away. Put that away for now. Let's get the armor and stuff. Because it's dangerous down there. Instant health. Don't need strength. Well, yeah, we'll take strength. Just to be safe. Do that. I need armor. I don't think I need my pickaxe. Or my axe. I think we can just leave those here. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's go get these sponge dried and then we'll start on the next one. Come on, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine left to do. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve total. Twelve tanks total. That seems like a lot right now. <laughs> Boom. Oh, I didn't want to land on the roof. Oh, shoot. We need gold armor. I don't have any in there. We'll grab some quick and then we'll head into the nether. You can sprint, buddy. You can sprint. It's okay. What should we take? I know I took boots last time. Should we do that again? We'll just take this pair. Probably should have left those, but it's all good. Oh, I got my wings on. Okay. Oh, I should have brought my shield. I don't think I did. Nope, I didn't. I did not. We'll get our strength going right away. Just in case. Just in case we gotta fight them pigs off. Them ho hoglins? Is that what they are? Or is it the piglins? I get them mixed up all the time. I took my nether fog off. I think it looks so better. You can actually like see a distance away. I don't know why I didn't do it before. I didn't think of doing it. I shouldn't say that. I've had it for off for a while. I just now said something about it. <laughs> oh, there's not too many down here. We just got one. They're probably spawning in here, though. Is that guy riding the pig? Oh, I didn't know they could ride it. Go away. I didn't know those guys could ride pigs. I had no idea. That's strange. Well, not strange. That's crazy. Alright, we're here to dry some sponge. Whoa, hey guy. Go away. Get out of here. It's just... I don't want to kill you because you're a baby, but I know you'll grow up to be a big guy and kill me anyway. So. Oh, yeah. There's that sound again. Oh. Oh. That didn't do it that time. Oh, it's dry. Dry sponge, that's why. Oh, I love hearing that sound.
Nope. I'm gonna knock out all these torches too when I take these out. Nope. Can't place one when you're standing in the block. Rogue guy, stay away. I don't want no trouble, okay? I just want to get these sponges dry. There I go, taking the torch out. Go away. I told you they'd spawn in. Did I miss the door? I did. Go away. Okay, we're good. Should have brought my bow too. Took me down for five hearts. Halfway. Yeah, we don't need to do that. We don't need to do that one just quite yet. Look at all these guys. Oh my gosh. Let's get these and run. Why are there so many just spawning in here crazy? Go away, little guy. I thought they couldn't spawn with the light levels, but it looks like they don't need a... Or they spawn better with light, actually. It looks like. I don't know a whole lot about the pig guys because I haven't done a whole lot of research on them. Come here. You're just going to die because I'm sick of you attacking me. You bully. Let's get these. Didn't leave one. Okay, let's get out of here. And get away from these pigs. And the pig human walking things. Whatever they're called. Piglins. Piglins and hoglins. Why they got to name them so similar, I don't know. Oh my gosh. Jeez, go. Go away. We're not trying to fight right now. We're trying to get this water clear. I could take them, but I don't feel like doing it right now. I don't feel like just sitting and fighting a bunch of pigs. Guy. I still need to find the blue forest. I haven't found that yet. I really would like the blue wood because yeah, it's it's a nice type of wood. Why did I come back in here? Do I need I don't even need anything in here. I don't know why I came in here. Let's take these boots off and put those on. Let's check our kelp, see if it's been loading while we've been at the ocean monument. The light's on. Yeah, barely. I don't think it loads while we're at the ocean monument. There's probably one reason why we don't have a whole lot of kelp coming through. And because I have trouble keeping it full. <laughs> light's on, probably because we have stuff we need to smelt. And it will probably unload when I fly over to the monument, but that's alright. It should still be fine. So what did I say? One, two, three, what was it? Twelve total? 12 total tanks left. Or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, 12. 12 tanks left to do. It's a big job. It's probably going to take us quite a while. What was I going to do? 
put my armor away for one. Take those off. Doot, doot, doot. We don't need the gold boots. Just stick those there. Put that there. Put that there. Put that there. Yeah, I don't... And I picked up the torch again and didn't put it back. I keep doing that. Get the invisibility on our hot bar. Actually, we'll refill this guy right away. And I think we're good. We'll get some more of these. Maybe just one more. We ain't been going through them that fast. Oh, and we need our dirt. Which one did I put it in? This one. This the guy right here. Uh, get that guy. All right. Now I feel like these are easier than those. Maybe we should do those first. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like these are becoming a lot easier than that. Even though I have to switch so many tool or switch tools and switch blocks and sponge. Oh no. Ouch. Didn't want to do that. I don't know. Should I do that one? Oh, I gotta readjust how I'm sitting. Sliding down in my chair. Alright. So, let's think about this a little bit. Not fall off the edge. We could technically do the same method on this one as we've been doing with those. And just, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a horse apiece because yeah, we'll just keep, keep doing these. Boom. My throat seems to be doing a lot better since I, since I last had a problem with it. So that's good. Okay, I didn't have to stop shifting there. I actually toggle my shift because it's easier. Yeah, getting, getting a rhythm down is probably the hardest part to this. Yeah, see, now I wanted to go to my shovel when I should have went to my dirt. I sometimes forget how quick it is to get to the other side because I keep wanting to go forward. Oh my gosh, why did it fly? I didn't want it to... F I gotta take my wings off. Stop flying. Oh, that was kind of dumb. Alright. Yeah, I wish I could find a good pattern for this. Maybe I should just get rid of these blocks before I even start draining the next level. 
Sounds like it'd be easier. Or quicker. Yeah, I think so. I think that's what we'll start doing. Do that. And get these up here. I think actually after this one we'll have to call it a stream because I'm getting kind of tired. And I got to be up at 8 in the morning to get to work by 10. Yeah, it takes me two hours to get ready. I got to make coffee and do all that jazz before I go to work. I'm just that that type of person, I guess. We actually probably don't need to worry about those two corners because they'll get sucked up. Yep. Yeah. Let's run and jump at that. Okay, let's take these out. Boom. Boom. Okay. Uh, I didn't need to do that. Well, I guess we'll leave it for now. Because I'm going to start my next level. Boom. Yeah, we need to come out a little bit each time because it's we can't get to the other side which is fine that's okay we can do this and then a few more I just gotta remember to switch off between tools and blocks that's the tricky part to this you gotta remember to switch off blocks and then switch off tools and then now next level maybe if I put them closer in the hotbar would that be easier maybe let's try it oops we'll split it up Oh yeah, that feels better. It feels like it will be better. Yep, I think so. Oh yeah. I feel like that helps. Just because I don't have to move so far on my hotbar. That's a good method. Alright. See, the more you do it, the more you figure out, the better you get. We should probably pick up those blocks so they don't go bye-bye. And I missed it, so yeah, I was... It's a good thing we did. Alright. Getting close to the bottom on this one. We'll make a little platform to get up on there. Or not. I guess we have to do that. Do that. Making sure I didn't hit the wall. Okay. Just had to readjust there. Take these out. Can I reach that one? Nope. Uh, take this guy out. Place with a sponge. Boom. I know I say boom a lot. I do. But that's just how I am. I'm sorry. I'll take this guy. Take that guy. Boom. He's almost coming out of the glass there and then we'll we'll probably have to call her a stream after this cause probably hear it in my voice I'm getting tired almost ready for bed 
Come on, can I get you? No. I can't. Hey, thanks for sending those blocks my way. Makes my life easier. I'd say, what, two more rows, looks like. Let's do another dirt block so we're not tripping. Yeah, it's going to be like two more, maybe even three. Let's get these blocks so they don't despawn. I had a yawn. That's how tired I am. I just yawned. It was a quiet one. I try not to yawn too loud. <laughs> it makes me human though. Right? Okay. Take out these guys. Take them out. Take these guys out. Oh, we got to get our stack here. Boom. Yeah, it's going to be two or er, three. It was three at the time. Now it's two. Okay. Boom, boom. I was probably totally talking about something really interesting too and I forgot all about it probably. Maybe not too interesting. It's me we're talking about. It's Boss Drew Crew. But yeah. Probably had something good to talk about and lost it. Typical Drew. This is funky. Why is this going on like this? Whatever, it's gone now. Maybe because I... Oh, uh, too... Too high. Ugh! I had to yawn again. Okay. Yeah, two. Oh, misplaced block. We'll just come out to this right here. Shovel, hoe, shovel, hoe, shovel, hoe. Can I get him? Nope. Boom. 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 Perfect. I think we'll stop it there. We could probably get that little hump, but it's all good. It's all good in the hood. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even playing. This is all dirt. <clears throat> okay. Alrighty. So that's two full sections of the middle section done. Let's just make sure we aren't losing any blocks here. Oh, I got a bunch of sponges over here. It's a good thing I saw those or we'd be sitting without spun. Yeah, I don't even know if I lost any or not. Alright, let's put our wings on and fly out of here. Fly out of here. And then we'll say adios and probably see you guys tomorrow to work on some more. If I can get out of here. Vroom, 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 vroom. We'll fly up high and take a look from it up from above. Oh, we got really high that time. Actually, that's looking pretty cool with the dividers in there and stuff. 
It's not going to stay that way, but... Oh, it's looking so good. Once it's all cleared out, it'll look even better. We got this hallway done. Actually, we got half of this hallway done. Right? I started on this one? Yeah. And then... We got... One, two of those. So, not a whole lot of pro... Oh! Not a whole lot of progress, but a lot, a good amount. It was a good amount for the most part here. It's not laying on a magma block. So we got, I'd say about 50% of what we need cleared out. Well, uh, maybe not. Maybe a little more or less than 50%. Alrighty. Well guys, thanks for joining. I appreciate you guys joining every night and hanging out and uh, chit-chatting. We'll probably do a little more tomorrow. Eat some food so it's full. And yeah, I, I'm really excited for this uh, farm to come together. I don't want to fall off the edge. But yeah, um, see you guys in the next stream and take care and adios amigos. Let me get this, uh, yeah.